Okay, like I said, our bag is a bag now. It's all sewed up. Now, we can trim our threads off, which is a good thing. Keeps us nice and neat. So we trim them off where we began and where we ended. Keeps things neat. If we do it as we go along. All right, like I said, your bag is a bag. All right, now we're on to figure six. I'm reaching for my towel. You need to get your towel. And determine what is going to be the back side of your towel. Mine is the same on both sides, but there is a tag. So I know this is the back side of my bag. Of my towel, excuse me. All right, now then, remember, we left that unsewn right here. And that was important that we leave that unsewn. So that edge that is unsewn goes goes up at the top and the edge that you sewed on the side goes along the edge of our towel per the instructions of step five figure six. So and our top edge of the towel, we want to stay back about a quarter of an inch. We just want it to peek out just a little bit. So when we're laying there on the sand, looking gorgeous, laying on our pretty towel, <laughs> our little beach bag doesn't show. So here's our number six figure. And so we're going to first off, Fold that back and pin our beach bag to our towel just off the edge by about a quarter of an inch. You can just eyeball it. This is figure six, step five. Now if you will notice in your instructions, it tells us right here at the end of the bag to come to stop sewing and pinning an inch and a half from there. I've got a smaller ruler. Let me reach and get it. So it's nice to have a big ruler and a little ruler or use a measuring tape. And so I will measure back an inch and a half and put my last pin right there so then I'll know to stop or start whichever direction we end up going for this time it'll be where we start so we're going to start sewing an inch and a half from that edge and go all the way over here and we're just going to stitch right on that edge of our bag attaching it to our towel the back of our towel, the top of our bag. Okay? Meet you back at the sewing machine. All right, we're at our sewing machine and we're gonna put the least amount of fabric, in this case, towel, under our sewing machine. So we wanna go to this edge that we pinned and we want to put our thread off to the left through the slot in our foot. And because we've already measured, we can fold that bag back out of our way and start here per the instructions of figure six at an inch and a half from the fold of the bag. Now, we're going to really want to stitch just on the edge. So, you can just put it close to that edge of your foot. Leave the needle there long enough to get your location. Make your stitch length a little bit longer. 
because there's a lot of fabric to go through. So I'm going to go up to 3.5 so my machine won't bog down. I'm going to go ahead and take my needle out, put my down needle position in, and start sewing. I'll just take my time going along this edge. Let's start a couple stitches. Then I'll go reverse it because this little spot's going to get a lot of wear. So I'm going to go back a couple of times. Okay, now I feel like I got that secure and I'm just going to stitch with my fabric on the edge of my foot and my towel. Put my towel along the edge of my foot. Don't hurry your machine through all this thick fabric. Just take your time. when my machine doesn't like how thick it is. So I have to turn my machine off and back on and set the stitch length back up to large, large length stitches. One more. I'm going to back it up a little bit for it to give it a little bit of hand. And I'm going to let it back up and then go again slowly with a bigger stitch and let's see if it can handle it this time. I'm going to turn it by hand so that it can get through all that fabric. There we go. It's going to do it this time. So turning it by hand. So it can slowly go through that fabric. And then I'm going to push reverse. Because it's already got holes in it, it's going to do it on its own. Haha, <laughs> we made it across that big lump of fabric. You just may have to do it by hand. Alright, needle down, needle up, thread out, cross your cutter. And you've got your bag attached to your towel. All right, we are still on figure six, but we are on step six. Before we go any further, though, let's just take a minute to clip our threads from where we did all the instructions on step four, figure six. So now we've got our threads clipped and we have attached our casing of the bag just at the top edge of the wrong side of our towel. Alright, now our bag still needs to be finished attaching to our towel and we've got three more sides to attach. So we're still on Figure six, step six. And so now we're going to stitch it to the towel down this side to this corner. We will pivot like we did when we were making the bag itself. We'll get down here and we'll pivot and oh, there are my pins and we'll pin it here once at the bottom there's our number six because we're still on figure six step six we're going to stop there and pivot and we're going to go all the way up to the casing but we're going to stop right there let me get a couple more of my Number six pins so that I don't confuse you. This is step six, still on figure six. 
doesn't take many pins because it's all flat sewing. So we're going to go to our sewing machine and we're going to start here and go down, stop with the needle down, pivot, go across the bottom, stop, needle down, and go up to the casing, stop, and back tack. So let's go to the sewing machine and see what that looks like. All right, we've done step five and six. We have our bag attached at the top to the back side of the towel. And we pin the towel in place all the way around so that we can stitch it on the other three sides. And this was shown to us on the figure six. And so now we're actually on to the instructions of step seven, but it's shown in figure seven. We've got our thread over here to the left. We can slip our fabric under our foot. May have to raise that foot up enough to get that in to make sure we catch everything. Let's let our edge of our foot be on the edge of our bag. Pull that first needle out. Sm smooth this out. We don't want to get into too much of the bulk of things. Okay. And I've got a nice long stitch on this because of all the bulk that we're going through. start sewing here okay needle down get started a couple of stitches go back a couple of stitches whoop sorry needle down back a couple of stitches okay now then I've got the edge of my foot going along the edge of my bag and that's where my eye is and I'm gonna let the feed dogs do their job thread to the cutter, both of them. Chunk, you got it, and you are done sewing. All right, let's go to the work table and run our cord through our beach bag. Okay, we stopped and started. Let's go back and trim those off at our stopping and starting points. Check for any other threads that we might have missed earlier. Now we're on to step eight. Our bag is attached to our towel at the top and at the side and at the bottom of the bag and at the other side. So now we need to put our drawstring in to our bag. Okay. So that's where that giant pin comes in. Let me over here and get it. And I've got my handy dandy cord. Went ahead and tied just those first two ends so that they would only fray minimally. I like them to fray a little bit. I just go ahead and put it in half to start with. Put my pin through that cord. Just give it a good push. You're not going to hurt it, the cord. Close my pin. Alright. Now that opening that we left is also open for our cord to pass through. And that is why it's called the casing. So, 
Now you do your inchworm thing. You push that needle in, push that needle in and see how it's gathering it up. And I got my thumb on the end of the pin. So I push a bunch of the fabric, gather it up on that pin, and I hang on to the pin and I pull that down. Then I then I just feel where the end of the pin is. crying in baseball. Don't have to cry in sewing either. So here we go. Now we're just going to keep pulling till we got our rope even. Looks like I got a little more rope than I needed. <laughs> so here we go. We pull it till our it's smoothly it's all the way smoothed out and we go you know what I've got more than enough cord here. Pull it out a little bit more till we got them even. Take some scissors, cut that. Tie a knot. I like the fraying, but the fraying has to stop. <laughs> or it'll just keep on fraying. So now I've got a knot on each one of them. Now I go back over here and I get them straight and I back up about eight inches and I take the rope around my fingers and I tuck the end into the hole I've made. I believe you call that an overhand knot. And then you just pull it tight. All right, you have finished your bag and it pulls up tight. But, the trick is, there you are, laying on the beach, reading your book, having a cold one, iced tea, lemonade, whew, it's good, good stuff, okay? That book was good too, wasn't it? Alright, so our bag has been out of sight while we were laying there reading our book, sipping on our drink, but now... As always, we got to go home. All right, so we fold our towel up. Don't got to be too fancy. Up, oh, I'm going to reach down here and get the rest of it. I'm coming back. Hang on. Here I come. Whew. That was a big towel. Had to go a long ways. All right. There it is. I'm folding that towel up just to the end of the bag. Now, I'm going to reach down inside of my empty bag, grab everything, nice good pinch, pull it all inside, and our wonderful day at the beach is all back in the bag, and our wet sandy towel is down in our bag, and we can take it back to our hotel motel or our bungalow on the beach, wherever we're staying, or the pool, at the house, whatever. Turn it all inside out, pull up our drawstring, grab our book and our empty glass, and head for the house with our handy dandy beach bag towel holder. And we can open it up, turn it back outside, and throw it in the washing machine, or just hang it over the line to dry and use it again tomorrow if you're fortunate enough to get to go another day. <laughs>